And continuing our coverage of California's reopening, as we mentioned earlier, Sacramento's mayor, Daryl Steinberg, tweeted that city council voted to extend the city's expanded outdoor dining. So many people have enjoyed over the past year. It's been vital to keeping businesses open. Yeah, it will be in place for at least another year. And ABC 10's Lena Howland has more on just how vital this outdoor dining has been. I think it's one hell of a lifeline for us. When the state said it wasn't safe to serve anyone indoors because of the pandemic, restaurants adapted and spilled their tables into the sidewalks and sometimes streets for alfresco dining. It's everything we need right now to keep ourselves in business. Some even invested extra money to put up tents, build structures, and order weatherproof tables and chairs. They've stuck around. They've, they've stood the test of, uh, of winter, and uh, they're still standing. Daniel Martin, the assistant general manager of R15 Cafe Bernardo, says they now have a total of 31 outdoor tables, which make up a third of their weekly income. And he says the tables they have inside are no longer enough to keep them in business. We have to make up for lost time. I guess it, it was a, we, we went almost a, what, eight, nine months without any income at all. Before the pandemic, the Fieldwork Brewing Company was only a small 700 foot tap room in the process of expanding into the space next door. Having the ability to serve outdoors was definitely, uh, you know, a, a, a very much needed lifeline for us. Because of Alfresco Dining, they were able to create a makeshift patio in the middle of Capitol Street, creating 20 tables they never had before, according to general manager Terrence Tang. And it's got uh, just a, an overall aesthetic to the to the city that um, just kind of makes the community more open and more bright and vibrant. People dining out like Gary Briggs support the idea of keeping it going for at least another year. I think it's probably a good thing. I mean, because look at look at how many people there are. So if they're not outside, then they're going to be inside. I think it'd be pretty crowded or they couldn't accommodate that many people. And City Council is now looking into the possibility of making this permanent and sees Tuesday night's unanimous vote as a step in that direction. There's no such thing as a silver lining. The pandemic was horrible, but one of the positive things that came out of it was alfresco. While Sacramento is extending their outdoor dining permits, not every city is. Today was the last day Placerville restaurants could operate an extended outdoor dining space.